Do you have a crystal ball that tells you the perfect time to buy and sell crypto? Most people don't. That's why they choose to dollar cost average. So they have a more reliable way to steadily accumulate crypto over time. Here are some things that you might want to consider when it comes to dollar cost averaging so you can use it to grow your crypto portfolio. The first thing to understand about dollar cost averaging is that it's an investment strategy where an individual purchases a fixed amount of an asset, such as a cryptocurrency, at regular intervals over an extended period of time. With dollar cost averaging, investors can set it and forget it, so they automatically purchase crypto on a regular basis, regardless of its market price. The next thing to understand about dollar cost averaging is that investors need to make a few choices before they get started. They need to choose the asset they want to accumulate, the amount they want to invest with each order, the frequency of these investments, as well as the day and time of each of these buy orders. For example, someone can choose to purchase $25 worth of Bitcoin on every Monday of every week, or $100 worth of Ethereum on the 15th of every month. The choice is ultimately theirs to make when it comes to how they want to formulate their dollar cost averaging strategy. The next thing to understand about dollar cost averaging is that it allows investors to buy more of an asset when its prices are lower and less of an asset when its prices are higher. As an example, let's pretend an investor is looking to purchase $50 worth of a coin that has a market price of $100. That means that they'd be able to purchase half of a coin each week if its price stayed at exactly $100. But if the price of the coin went below $100, their $50 would go further and they'd be able to purchase more of that coin with that same $50 investment. However, the opposite is also true. If the price of the coin rose above $100, their $50 wouldn't go quite as far, and they wouldn't be able to purchase the same amount of that coin with those same $50. A key thing to understand about dollar cost averaging is that it's typically used to reduce the long-term impact of short-term price volatility. By making regular investments over an extended period of time, the overall cost basis, or average price paid for an asset, may be lower than if the trader invested all of their capital all at once. This ultimately helps traders offset the importance of trying to precisely time the crypto market. But dollar cost averaging is not a guarantee for profitability. If an investor dollar cost averages into an asset when its price is high and suddenly its market price drops, their overall cost basis may be higher than the current market price for that asset. Even with dollar cost averaging, it's important to do your own research and to understand the risks before you use it to grow your crypto portfolio. Follow Kraken for more and we'll see you next time.